what's up what's up what's up what's up what's good what's popping how y'all doing y'all good that's what's up so it's your girl bola you already know what time it is your girl bd are back on the scene hey what's good what's popping how you good that's what's up so today's video is going to be a little hood mukbang because your girl just got some food she's trying to eat for me i'm trying to eat i'm hungry so i just got some food from the um from the chicken spot if you live in a hood or you live in a hood area and you don't got a chicken spot or a crown fried i feel bad for you because crown fried is where it's at like when you need something quick you feel what i'm saying you need something quick you go to crown fried you get you a meal okay so i'm gonna show y'all what i got first and then i'm gonna start eating start talking a little bit i already started eating but then i realized that i could have i could make a video so that's why i stopped and yeah all right so i got a four piece mixed chicken with french fries i put i put hot sauce on it already like i said i had already started eating stopped because i was like i could record a video so four piece mixed chicken with fries good old bev got me a mount a, a mountain dew I got me a ginger ale. I asked for a Sprite, but he gave me a ginger ale. It's fine. I like both. Then I got some good old salt and vinegar chips from the corner store, which is right next to my crown fried. So, got me some chips. And I got me an extra bev because I just wanted an extra bev. So, I got me a Fruit Punch Arizona. So, yeah. Let's get it done. Let's get it in. Because you feel me? I ain't eat all day. I was at work since about 12 o'clock girl was hungry okay oh you fries are crunchy oh hold up hold up my ring light is like tweaking a little bit don't mind it what's up y'all how y'all been? How y'all doing? What's good? What's poppin'? Like, what's up? Um, I know I haven't really been posting on my channel like that lately. A lot of shit was going on. <laughs> I was going through a lot of things. Still low-key going through things, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I haven't po well, I posted a video last week. So if you guys want to go check out that video, it's a AliExpress hair review on this hair that I got for my birthday. I purchased it for my um, for my birthday, whatever the case may be. And I did an unboxing and a review on it. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in one of like the little 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 thing things up here or somewhere. Or you can see it at the end of the video. Or you can just go to my channel and um see all my recent videos, whatever the case may be. But yeah. Um, before I posted that video last week, I hadn't posted a video in, like, almost four or five months. I started slacking, started getting lazy, so, yeah, I was just, I was doing some bullshit, but, yeah, I'm back, and I'm better, everything's lit. Chicken crunchy. I love when my, my chicken is crunchy. I hate when my chicken don't got no crunch to it. That's nasty. But, um, I need some hot sauce. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. I just did this video, like, off the whim. Feel what I'm saying? I was eating my food, watching Aaliyah, ba uh, watching Aaliyah J and um, her boyfriend, Menelik, do their mukbang. Their seafood mukbang, and I was like, I'm sitting here eating food, watching a mukbang. I could be recording one, so I just started. I can't open this. <laughs> I just started recording, whatever the case may be. Um, just talk about whatever comes to mind, really. Nothing really in, in particular that I want to talk about, but I'll just cover some topics. Feel what I'm saying? Um, first things first. It's about to be a new... First things first, I'm 21. Like, my birthday just passed. Like, I'm fully 21 years old. My birthday was about two Saturdays ago on November 1st. Your girl turned the big 2-1. I'm really, really excited for this year. I'm really excited to see what it brings. I'm really excited to see what type of... 
stuff I get into. <laughs> That shit was low key spicy. It's a good thing I got two bags. But, um, yeah. Your girl is 21. I had a great birthday. My birthday this year was so fun. I had such a good time. Shout out to my cousin for coming, Nisi. My boy. My sis really popped out for the kid. Like, she really came out here. My, my cousin lives in Virginia. And I don't really get to see her that often. So, she the fact that she, like, took it upon herself to come out here and spend the weekend. Like she spent the weekend with me from Halloween till my birthday. Because Halloween was that Thursday. My birthday was that Saturday. Spent the whole weekend with me. And I was so happy. Like, I said that, like, before she had left, I had told her, like, I could have did nothing for my birthday. Like, we could have just stayed in the house, chilled, smoked, drank, just, but like, just us two, and I would have been happy. Because, like, we really, like, I really love that girl. I really love my cousin. Shout out to my cousin. I'm going to put her, her Facebook in the description box, because she's a dope-ass person. She's mad cool. She's dumb sweet. And she gangsta as fuck, and I love her. Y'all could, could go at her, whatever the case may be, or follow her, whatever, something. And I'm going to put her um her TikTok down below because I know she would tell me, like, why are you promoting my Facebook, promote my, my, promote my TikTok. I'm going to put her TikTok down below because, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I had a really good birthday. It was really, really fun. I spent time with a lot of close people to me. I learned a lot about... A lot of people that I thought were close to me, I learned a lot about them. Like that weekend was real crazy, real action packed. It was real interesting, but I had a really good time, and I appreciate all the people that spent my birthday with me that whole weekend. I respect y'all. That shit is spicy. That hot sauce is real hot. Usually it's like sweet hot. It's not really spicy spicy, but this shit got this shit. Woo. <laughs> but um yeah, so what else? My birthday just passed. Um nothing really else has happened. <laughs> well a lot of other stuff has happened, but like personal stuff. But not stuff that I wanna like share. Um, I don't really know. Nothing really crazy has been happening to me. You know, everybody in my life has been uh, nice and healthy. <laughs> I, everyone's well. But yeah. Um, let's talk about, let's talk about the topic of loyalty. Because lately, like, for the past, like, two days, I've been seeing a lot of, I feel like I've been getting a lot of signs that have been like surrounded around loyalty and friendship and genuine energy. So maybe that's like my So maybe that's like my way like that maybe that's that's God's way of telling me that I need to talk about it maybe. Cuz for the past couple of days I've been seeing it like on my face like or anytime I'm on Instagram I see a, like see posts about loyalty when I'm at work I see like Everything around me just like surrounding something to do with loyalty and genuine energy and stuff like that. So maybe I need to talk about it. And honestly, I feel like at this day and age, no one really knows what it means to be loyal for real. Like, I remember a time where, like, for example, if if you had a homegirl and y'all was close, like not closest than y'all, you know, see each other. Oh, hold on, I gotta take the bandaid off because hold up, I broke my nail today, y'all. Trying to put my goddamn shoe on 
And like, I was, I was so pissed about this shit earlier. Like, I was trying to put my shoe on, mind you. I was trying to put my shoe on. And I've had my nails done since my birthday. This, these were my birthday nails. The nails that I have on right now, I'm going to show y'all. I've had them done since my birthday, right? And all this time, I've been putting on my shoes regular. You feel what I'm saying? Slipping my shoe on. And all of a sudden today, Shorty decided to break on me. But um, these are what my nails had looked like for my birthday. Oh, wait. I tricking on one. <laughs> this was my birthday nails. Let me see if I can get it to focus in. Birthday nails. They probably look dingy and crusty now, but when they were first done, they were real, real cute. And my cuticles are real ashy, but who cares? They were real, real cute, or whatever the case may be. And I broke one this morning. I gotta go back and get it. I gotta go back and get um get them redone. Probably gonna do that next week. Anyway. At one point, I remember, like, if you had a homegirl that you was cool with, y'all ain't even have to be, like, super-duper close. Like, you could just be like, oh, yeah. Like, we talk from here and there, whatever the case may be. Like, we're cool. You would never try to go after somebody that she's messed with, that she's dated. None of that crazy shit. You would never do that because it's loyalty. Like, but people nowadays don't give a fuck about loyalty, bro. Like, that shit is out the window for real. People will really be your friend or fake be your friend right now and then do some slob shit behind your back and then act like that shit cool. Like, no. Mm -mm. I'm not with the antics. Like, that's not cool. And I feel like it's so hard to even want to deal with people nowadays because you can't, you don't know who, like, whose intentions are pure. You don't know who's genuinely trying to be close to you for the right reasons you don't want to just let anybody into your life because everybody's trying to get something everybody's doing shit for their own gain like it's corny and like i feel like lately like i've been seeing very slowly People that I think I care about, people that I think I'm cool with, think I'm, that I think I'm close to, have just been dying off. <laughs> Slowly. Mm. This sugar is bomb. Once you bypass the spice, <laughs> it was good as hell. But, yeah, I feel like people that I've been, that I swear that I'm so close to and people that I think are really, like, down for me are really just dying off one by one. And it's so sad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fucking just checking out this shit good. I ain't eat all day. But, um... People in my life have been slow and dying. It's, like, slowly been fading off or fading away. And I find it really annoying because... How do I say this? It's not that I'm not, I'm not good at making friends. I'm a really friendly person. But that's the problem because I'll meet somebody, feel like their energy is real good and real genuine off rip and just, you know, start to draw myself towards them. When in reality, they ain't shit. They just around me for the wrong reasons. But I can't see that. Because naturally, I just look at people and think, oh. You're a good person until you're proven otherwise. And that's just how I see it. Like, 
I have no problem letting people into my life, letting people into my circle. But once you start to show me your true colors, it's done. Like, I'm, I'm done. I don't need you around. I don't need you around me. Whatever the case may be. I finished my soda. But I feel like it's just hard to find good, genuine people. And it makes you not want to, like, be social with people for real, for real. I'm trying not to curse. Like, I've met a couple people in the past couple of months that I swore were, like, down for me, riding for me, all that. And in reality, they weren't. They were just around for the wrong reasons. They just wanted stuff for me. Wanted me to do for them and didn't want to do for me. And it's real corny, bro. Like, it makes you not want to be friendly to people. It makes you not want to make connections with people. Because it's like, how do I know that you really genuinely want to be around me for the right reasons? Like, it's, it's corny. <laughs> I don't know what other words to use, but it's just corny. And I'm not into that corny ass behavior. Like, same thing go for relationships, for real, for real. Like, this chicken is real like spicy. put my pants down <laughs> if you eat and don't have to pull your pants down around your stomach you're not fat for real i'm fat for real but anyway same thing goes for relationships like it's hard to even want to be with somebody or date somebody because you don't know that person's genuine intentions people might come around you and think like i have you thinking like yo old boy really fuck with me like old boy really will do something for like he will go wolf for me like he'll ride out for me no 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 he's playing you excuse me that was so nasty i'm human but like like niggas will really have okay men will really be out here no fuck that niggas will really be out here having to just think like yo his boy really riding out for me like this boy really fuck with me for real like I'm about to go all in and in reality homie just using her for either her bride her coon whatever she got like and no I'm not just saying I'm not just gonna say that like as for as for men like it goes for females in relationships too like Bitches be out here on they city girl shit just trying to get close to you for some cash. <laughs> but it makes it hard to find good genuine people. It makes you not want to fuck with people. Like as far as I'm concerned, like I've always been the type of person to like not stand on my own per se, but I have no problem with being by myself. Like, yeah, I, could, I have friends and stuff like that, but I don't beg for people to be around me. And I will never beg for nobody to be around me because what? No. That shit's corny, like, nah. <laughs> I'm the type of person, like, if I feel like you're moving funny, if I feel like your energy shifted, if I feel like you're not giving me genuine vibes anymore, I won't fuck with you. Like, I'll just distance myself from you. And that's just not, that's not me being childish. It's not me being petty, per se. It's just me being real. Because you can tell when people start to switch up on you for real, like, you could tell when that energy starts to change. You could tell when somebody really not fucking with you for real. And I'd rather avoid all that confrontation like, oh, why you moving like this? Or why you doing this? And like, nah. If I feel like you moving a funny way, like, 
have a good one. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I have no problem cutting people off. Like, it's nothing to me. People come and go. You could be replaced. Like, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not nothing shady or nothing. Like, it's just, like, it's just truth. You could be replaced. See you next. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we just live in a weird era. So, everything's just difficult now. I really just be chilling by myself. I really don't try to go out of my way for people no more. And that's another thing. I realize a lot of the times, we, I just jump topics like three times. But regardless, I feel like most of the time... I feel like most of the time I'm always giving and giving. I'm out here just expelling energy and just dumping it on people. And they're just taking it. Taking it. Taking it. <laughs> like just eating that shit up. And I'm losing all of my good energy for myself. Dumping it on other people to try to make them better or help them or uplift them. When I should be uplifting myself, like. It's a good handful of people in my life right now that I can genuinely say, no, it's a few handful of people that I could genuinely say give a fuck about me and would do for me the way I do for them. And I would say it's a good one person, maybe even two people, that I can genuinely sit down and talk to, get my feelings out, like vent to them, stuff like that. But everybody else around me is just feeding off of my energy. Like, most of my friends I give really good advice to. I'm always helping them with their problems. I'm always trying to build them up or whatever the case may be. But that shit is never returned. Like, it's never given in, in return. And it sucks for real. Because it's like, why am I giving so much to people and I'm not getting nothing in return? Like, damn, like, is it me? Am I a problem? Like, but no, it's not me. It's them. They're selfish. <laughs> they don't appreciate you. I don't know. None of what I just said probably didn't make sense. But in my head it did. I just feel like this year, 2020 coming up, and I'm really full. I can't eat no more. <laughs> but, um, I feel like 2020 coming up and I no longer have the patience to keep giving and to keep doing for people that aren't doing for me. I feel like people are taking too much from me and, I'm, and it's nobody else's fault but my own because I really just let people take from me and I don't know. giving so much and I'll start like I have to start taking care of myself because at the end of the day most of the people that you're around most of the people you surround yourself with aren't really gonna be there for you at the end <laughs> like I've if I really tell you guys all the people that I've lost my like at a clue and all the things that I've done for them, all the things that I helped them through, all the time and effort that I spent dealing with these people. And where are they now? Nowhere to be found. So it's just like 
why am I giving so much to people that aren't giving to me? And one thing that I've been living by for the past couple of months, for real, is I'm not going to ask anybody for anything that they can't give me. Did I say that right? I'm not going to ask anyone for anything that they can't give me. No, I think I said that wrong. I think the quote is, don't ask me for nothing that you can't give me. So, yeah, that's that made sense. That made sense. Like, if I ask you, I feel like I can't. My mind is in, like, five different places right now. And I'm trying to focus on one topic. But point of the matter is, for the past couple of months, I've been living off of the mentality that I'm not going to force anything I am not going to force anything I am not going to force anything because it's just like I can't force people to want to be around me I can't force people to treat me correctly I can't force people to be the people that I want them to be all I can really do is take care of myself and be a better person for me and stop just giving all my good energy to all these waste man ass people like that's just it like <laughs> that's just it for real but you know what i'm saying 2020 about to come up it's about to be a new year i'm not holding on to no grudges for real but at the end of the day i'm about to start getting real selfish real selfish because at the end of the day, ain't nobody doing for Bola as much as Bola's doing for Bola. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people might say, oh, yeah, I'll help you. Oh, yeah, I'll help you take care of this. I hope you do this. We can do this, this, that, and the third. Ah, 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 ah. But then who really fall through for real? Like, you ain't with me shooting in the gym. Like, you feel me? You, you just, you hollering from the sidelines. You ain't really shooting with me in the gym, bro. Like, you on the bench. I'm on the court sweating like <laughs> I've been in for three quarters like you just on the bench rooting niggas on like nah I need you out here fighting with me like you feel what I'm saying and if you're not out here fighting with me I don't want you around me period point blank period with a T period you know what I'm saying and that's just how I feel about it like I'm not about to just be letting people take from me no more it's done. The nice bowler that y'all knew, and I'm talking to a bunch of people specifically, the nice bowler that y'all knew is dead and going for real, for real. Because she about to get real selfish. She's about to, she's about to start doing shit for herself. And y'all, y'all missed out. Because now, because of the simple fact that y'all sat there and slept on the K, you feel me? Y'all sat there and slept on all this great energy that she had inside of her. Now y'all losing out. Y'all losing out. And ain't nobody's fault but your own. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if this, like, this little me talking jump from, like, five different things. I'm that type of person. Like, I'll talk about one thing and then it'll turn into, like, seven different other things. So, yeah. But I finished my, I ain't finished my food, but I'm full. But, um, I ain't even touched my chips yet. I'll probably eat these later. But... This is going to be the end of my mukbang. This video is like 30 minutes long now. That's too long. <laughs> but I hope you guys, if you even watched it, if you made it this far, I appreciate you for watching. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I really want to start putting out more content for real. I really want to start doing more on my channel because I feel like my channel is just like... It's just... It was never up here. Like, it's just, it's just not doing shit. And... I want to really put some effort into it. So, if you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Hit me up, whatever the case may be. I'm going to put my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. You guys can hit me up. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. If you want more makeup videos, let me know that too. Whatever the case may be. Whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. And, um, yeah. That's the end of this video. So, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys for watching. Be blessed. Stay poppin'.